Alrighty, it's showtime. <laughs> so, in the backdrop of uh, what's going on here, I just want you to think is, is it possible for it to be raining uh, in Australia going the opposite direction or in South America that it is right here? Uh, hashtag water seeks its level. It's just the reality. I sent uh, my, my video this morning, I sent out to a lot of groups and a lot of hating going on with that. Uh, there's the little lady on her way in. <laughs> uh, so what I wanted to show you is just the, um, the ridiculousness of thinking that there could possibly be rain falling um, upside down in relationship to other areas of the world or sideways or any of that. That's just absolutely beyond ridiculous. So for people that say I should maybe, uh, I was on the short bus as a child, uh, mentally deficient, say, <laughs> well, not actually, not actually, not even close. Um, the, however, there's a, a very interesting dynamic with pride. So many of us are aware that we don't live on a globe. We understand how ridiculous the, the impossibility of that actually is. It's just not even possible. Um, so just because we're aware of that, then to diplomatically express our um, objection to that and exposing that the reality that there's up and down we live basically on a level plane and that's pretty much how that works there's laws of perspective lines of convergence and all of that that has to do with what we can see and observe uh, if I go too fast uh, in in rain troughs all hydroplane people without uh, good tire tread can have a problem when it's like this and see the the Sun is pretty bright right now right up there and yet we've got rain all around us one of the reasons I wanted to go live right now is simply to show well I could uh, the rain falling and then it's calming down in the we had um, uh, that beautiful little pond that we've got and and then the droplets were actually pretty large uh, coming on down easy to easy to see where they hit um, it's impossible for rain to fall upside down in relationship to other rain or or people to live upside down in relationship to other people so when I sent out my morning broadcast I included my YouTube channel in the description so that when I sent out over a hundred to a hundred groups that gives people access to my channel which includes um, over 1100 liked videos but then there are other featured channels that I have that have done excellent documentaries exposing the reality that we live in in the context of that, undoubtedly, in some of the more interesting groups where there's um, just a, a level of hatred for God, God's children, um, then they'll um, they'll be talking. Of, one gentleman said, "I I can expose flat Earth in one sentence." Really, really, how are you going to do that? I said, "You can't debunk reality." <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you can see it if you go to my my uh, Facebook page and you click on today's uh, broadcast uh -huh. you can scroll down there and see the activity how I interact with these barbarians <laughs> I laugh at them uh, that's one of the things that I really like about my Facebook live broadcast is I have the opportunity to actually laugh out loud at them and help hopefully get their attention uh, the the irony and paradox of this is the deceived don't know they're deceived 
with pride as a catalyst, they're not going to get it. They just cannot get it. I can't change your mind. I, I don't even know how much I can change my own mind. Um, when presented new information uh, that I believe to be accurate and true, how do I break out of that when I'm presented something that contradicts that? It's actually pretty complicated. S sorry about that. <laughs> so what, what I would simply say is God's grace, His unmerited favor, is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. It's a big challenge. Okay, so we have a very minimal amount of rain falling. Watch at the, the centrifugal force that's spinning the, the tire, the water off of the tires. That gets really nasty on a motorcycle. There's all kinds of roadkill and uh, from bugs and frogs to garbage truck drippings and oil. That's one of the reasons why I, I went to having um, coconut oil on my skin. It's, it's not just um, the salt water. I ride a motorcycle with shorts on and I get caught in the rain sometimes. I don't want all that nastiness to go into my skin. Depending on what, what chemicals may be on the road, what's spilled out there, uh, it could be pretty harmful. Have you thought about it? <laughs> I think about, uh, I, have, um, I have the ability by God's grace to think about things quite far outside the box. I actually had a, a supervisor that said, Robert, you need to think outside the box. Yeah, the team laughed and said, Robert doesn't even know where the box is. And that was before I was actually born again. But you see some of this, I wanted to show you the water park there, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going I'm to grab some more video of that area. Actually, some video. I don't think I have much there. But I'm on my way to Costco right now to pick up some supplies, some food. And uh, that's those healthy building blocks to the uh, brain chemicals, serotonin, serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, the melatonin. All of, the, all of the different, um, I don't know that melatonins, I'm not sure about that one. Um, I do believe it's naturally occurring. And DMT, naturally, I understand, occurs in the brain for lucid dreams that can occur. Dreams where you're aware you're in a dream. I've had that happen. I've had that happen like flying dreams and that kind of thing. And so, like, what, where I'm going with all this is the, the healthy nutrition would be building blocks for a healthy perception. This isn't a new age thing. This is just the reality. Some people would, I've heard them say, and I've said myself, I could get, I'm going to keep smoking because I like it, and I could get hit by a bus. Well, the reality of that isn't just the duration of existence. It's the quality of existence. Not, not just how long will I live, how will I live? So when people come down with, uh, can't come develop cancer, uh, from what I understand, there's actually cancerous cells in a healthy human being. It's just that our properly functioning immune system fights them off. So before for your, yeah, I don't know if you're one of my haters watching this, what I, what I would encourage you to consider is that I found out some very interesting things and I believe they're beyond my pay grade. In other words, I believe God has um, given me insight, ooh, ooh, not good. Yeah, we've got traffic backed up. I'm slowing down a lot right now because I've got semis rolling in behind me. Oh yeah. That's part of the problem is that people don't realize soon enough uh, that there's a problem. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, this will be a little bit different. We'll get to see what's going on up there. It looks like a lot of people got the speed scrubbed off of them. What I seriously don't want to be is the, um, the last guy in line here. This looks like the moving lane. I'm feeling better about all this. So we'll see what we can see up here. Kind of part of the deal with all this um, is that we get a lot of rain fast. And I've been on this road where we had um, oh, over uh, inches of rain coming down in minutes. I'm going to take us over on the edge here so we can see a little bit more of what's going on. Not good. All right. Um, yeah. Kind of a somber, kind of a somber thought. Uh, the the emergency vehicle that would have transported that individual is gone. It's not there. That's uh. That's a serious hit. I've seen uh, fatalities, and uh, that's why I do what I do. Even the even the haters hating on me in the groups, I, I realize there's coming a day when they can't fog a mirror. Where are they going to be? You know. So I'm not. I understand that people are angry, and uh, it's a tough situation. So a lot of times people are angry. They, they may view themselves as an atheist and they are angry at God. How does that work? It's like a bit of a disconnect. Maybe they're angry at the idea that other people believe that there's a God and they're enforcing their morality on them. So what I would say with all that is I just was recently born again coming up on four years now and I understand that there's a lot of difficult circumstances going on all over the world including the false pretense for wars the fabrication of uh, events to create a response from humanity to validate the killing of innocent men women and children for corporate greed and the enslavement of humanity, creating a military industrial complex that operates within the deep state, uh, the, the governments of the world, and within the religions of the world as well. So just so you know, even though I'm a Bible-believing Christ follower that's actually born again. Actually, I was a religious hypocrite for over 30 years. I thought I was born again because I slipped my hand up. I believed, so I thought. I didn't believe quite enough, evidently. But the idea here is that my belief wasn't enough. It was the saving faith of the unmerited favor that God gave me when he caused his Holy Spirit to take up residence in me. So I've got an awkward situation. I've got somebody moving in hot on the hammer lane and somebody creeping up on me faster than they were driving before. So I just zoom around them and go back to the speed limit. And then I'll just lock it in. I normally get in the middle lane and go the speed limit. It's easier to merge that way. It's kind of like how I do life. Uh, people can go around me. The haters that don't like my three hour and 23 minute post this morning, hey, they can scroll on by. They can see that people like it. People comment on it, appreciate it, share it. And then there are people that hate it, hate me. The ancient hate that wanted to rule heaven and 
take God's place, he got cast out of heaven along with the third of the angels. And as far as I understand, pride was the primary offense. That, that will do. That will be enough. So when I love my stuff, I love what I'm doing. It's not, it's not look at me. It's look at what he is doing in and through me. God who created me and gave me new life. So it's a very humbling uh, place to be. Because the way that I was going, I would have been one of those individuals that would have been gone right up to Jesus when my on Judgment Day, and uh, hoping to or believing I'm going to be ushered into heaven, only to hear the worst news of eternity that I could ever hear. Uh, and Matthew 7:21 is the reference for this. Jesus is talking to his disciples about Judgment Day, and he said, many will say on that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we drive out demons, work miracles, and prophesy? And he says, away from me, you evildoers. I never knew you. He's omnipotent. He knows who they are. He knew who they are. It's just that they weren't his children. They were Satan's children. So it's... um. It's very humbling to be a child of God. So right here, I've got a, a molt. It was molten glass at one time. In front of me, between the rain and I, I've been, I've been out here when it's been raining much harder than this, on the motorcycle. It it made it a lot more difficult to do what I do with the technology and and of course I, it would be impossible to have a a live broadcast on a motorcycle when it's raining like this it just wouldn't wouldn't work very good so water seeks its level all over the face of the earth a couple of things I wanted to give to you is um, how much do you know how much a gallon of water weighs uh, it depends <laughs> on the temperature of the water. The uh, temperature change causes uh, a change in the density and the mass and the weight of the particular specific volume. So when Joni and I were dating and she said, you sound like an encyclopedia, that's not just something that I picked up a couple days ago, years ago. I've been, I was reading encyclopedias since I was a child in dictionaries. I wanted to know how things worked, why they work the way they do, and then to be able to articulate that to people who are interested in knowing uh, about that. Uh, some are. They may give lip service to wanting to know the truth, and, and apparently they don't. Um, I pretty much right now where I'm at with this, is if somebody has looked into the shape of the earth and they believe we live on a globe, I know it's patently so impossible that they have a deception that's just beyond a lie. It's, um, it's a deception that I'm going to explain right here that comes out of God's Word and it's uh, accounted for in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. They refuse to love the truth and so be, so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So it's beyond Satan deceiving. See, Satan will use who and what he can, and God uses it all. I want to flip this around. The, um, the reflections with all the concentric cir uh, circles on the water give that a matte uh, appearance like a matte finish on that water. It's a bit different. So in the context of, of all of this there's lighting and shadows and reflections and seeing is believe. What? What do we see and what do we believe about what we see? 
I know that when I saw the fake moon landing, I remember exactly where I was. Uh, Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. And I thought, I believed it was real. And now after looking into it, I've come to believe the moon landing was one of the biggest hoaxes ever in humanity. Not the biggest, just one of them. This is the Intracoastal Waterway right there. You can see it better now. It's the flat spot in the middle of the view. And that, um, that body of water is connected to the ocean and tidal activity is taking place in there as well. So what I found out this past week, I, I don't know why I didn't realize it earlier, um, in North Myrtle Beach, where the Prince Resort is, Cherry Grove area, uh, the high tide or the tidal activity is about an hour earlier than in the Myrtle Beach area at the Myrtle Beach International Airport. The Tides Near Me app um, is very effective at giving the projections for the tidal activity. Also, when the sun and the moon appear and vanish, the percentage of the moon, and I've been watching this for years now, and one of the things that cannot be explained by the Helios sun-centered, heliocentric model is that the variable, the variation between the visibility of the sun and the moon can't be explained by a uniform rotation speed. It doesn't have to. God's Word says that the sun and the moon and stars move above the face of the earth. That's the actual reality that we live in. It's not the science fiction that we're actually being presented as fact. So what will you do when you find out the, how grand the deception is? Well, I'm doing, I, I don't have any control of what other people think, say, believe, or ultimately do. I desire to be a catalyst for consideration I'm more than an investigative journalist. What I am is a child of God that's been given um, some talent, some ability to be able to do what I'm about, what I'm doing here. Part of what we're looking at, we're, we're on Highway 17 bypass uh, going into Myrtle Beach where there's going to be some um, Oh, interesting businesses, Broadway at the Beach, Amusement Park, Ripley's Aquarium, Hollywood Wax Museum. A lot of these things like the Wax Museum there, that will continue to reinforce uh, previously programmed uh, realities or perspectives. Uh, the the Star Trek Empire and franchise was launched around the time our space program was. Interesting. Jules Verne wrote books that basically talked about space travel um, and some of the dynamics that were integrated into what we're told is fact previously was science fiction where art uh, reality sometimes is reflective of, of uh, the fiction and sometimes it's straight out fiction itself. So that's why I call it science fiction for the uh, supposed educated individuals that view themselves as so um, informed and intelligent, uh, especially if they have a lot of degrees uh, they're going to love to see that my pedigree is one of uh, pharmaceutical modification, drug addiction, and then they can just dismiss me as a crazy guy that should be hospitalized and medicated. Oh, well, not a harm to anybody. Uh, what, I'm a, what I'm a threat to is the deception. 
I'm exposing the deception and I believe the ultimate reality is the need to be born of God's Spirit. All of God's children will be at some point in the human experience. So right up here is uh, Ripley's aquarium to the left. They're showing a, a large shark right there in the middle of the view. You'll see it when we when we get up there. Wonderworks is off to the left. It's um, it's an upside down structure. We can see palm trees upside down and uh, the foundation of the structure is actually the roof or it's actually a facade. It's it's of course not real. The foundation it has a foundation on the ground. It's just that they made the roof uh, look like the the foundation. Hard Rock Cafe is there. It's a beautiful place. There's a uh, a lot of uh, a lot of shops and in that nice to go there. But then also we've got the reinforcement of more of the programming that people have received. And they'll continue to do that. There's the, um, the Ferris wheel in the middle of the view. It's all kind of hard to see with the uh, rain. Uh, here we've got the King Kong on the Hollywood Wax Museum. Whoa. That puddle pulled me right over to the side there. It's kind of interesting. So there's the matte looking finish of the um, of the water when it's got all the concentric circles. A fountain in the middle of course. So the Entertain Hollywood Wax Museum Entertainment Center and a big part of like I said what that'll do is continue to um, enforce the programming that's part of what it is so in some of the nostalgic cafes and shops that are over at Broadway at the beach there will be like Andy Griffith and a lot of the other shows that we had some of which were reasonably wholesome and uh, and all of that. So all of this is programming, including God's Word, which I do believe is God's programming, the God of the Bible, what's important for us to know as well as uh, the foretelling of future events which is called prophecy. I know that at different times a big deal was made of Nostradamus and what he thought about this and that. Well, he didn't have very accurate prophecies. The Bible is a hundred percent accurate. So that's why when it comes to how do you determine what the truth is, excuse me, some more water seeking its level. How are you going to know the truth when you hear it? Oh, we just had some lightning. Interesting. So, basically, I believe that supernaturally, God causes His children to understand the reality of the biblical uh, explanation of the world that we live in, what's important for people to know. Can you hear the thunder? I added the struck by lightning video where I was hit with lightning. I felt the lightning go through my body. It cracked, it damaged my camera, cracked the glass on my cell phone and completely discharged it. There was no power in it right after that event. And it was a test. Uh, not for God to see what I would do. It was actually, I believe, for me to see what I would do when I believed he wanted me to continue recording the five Vietnamese surf fishermen out in the ocean. So it's 
It's a short video. Uh, the lightning strike happens within two minutes. So the rain contributes to um, accidents. Visibility is a lot tougher to see. Much distance. That's one of the reasons why we can't see other continents. There's rain in between there and we've got limits of our our perception, what we can see. Now the vehicle that was flipped over, no telling exactly what caused that. Uh, it looked like an older truck, like it could have had some bad tires on it. That'll do. That'd be enough. Um, I've got um, top-of-the-line Michelin tires on this car with adequate tread, very adequate. And that's important because when it rains here like this, a hydroplane car, that could be my last ride. <laughs> so that's part of the deal. It's um, So some people will choose to forego replacing tires and maybe they'll buy something else instead. Maybe cigarettes, maybe alcohol, maybe drugs, maybe food. Maybe they just make so little money they can't put good tires on their car. I don't know. I have no way of knowing for sure. So yes, I believe it's totally impossible for rain to fall upside down in relationship to this rain. See there's a bit of a shape to the car, uh, it's leaning forward a little bit. We can tell that because that's the direction. Let me, let me put it so you can actually see it. And then we can see obviously the, the slope on the windshield. And yeah, I put a rain X on it. <clears throat> it reduces surface tension. So I'll just turn that off. Let's see what happens. So the, the reality that we live in and our observation of, of the, the world that we experience helps us to see that scripture is accurate as it says the earth doesn't move and that the sun, moon, and stars move above the face of the earth. That's the reality. There's a lot of people that don't like that because, well, then there's a God that they need to answer to, right? Yeah, that's the problem a lot of people have with that. They don't want a deity telling them what they can do with their bodies, with other people's bodies, other people's emotions. It normally just doesn't involve a, a body. Um, Right here we've got an outhouse in the middle of the view. It's because it's in front of a construction site. It's just the way it is. It's just the reality of it. You know, that, that little clip where I said that we don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. What I really want people to embrace is the reality that water seeks its level and it actually exposes the global lie. I, I want to just show you something in front of us here. <clears throat> this isn't going to keep on going. Not like this. Not this hard. It'll let up. Now this car wants to take that spot. And I'm, I'm cool with that. 
don't have a problem at all. See, when I leave myself enough time, and uh, I'm just loving life. Yeah, it's raining. Cool. It's going to make things green. A lot of oxygen in it. A lot of fresh air. A lot of people waiting to take their groceries on in. And I've got um I've got a lot of umbrella I've got several umbrellas in in my car right here. See, when it's like this, the, the rain won't keep on going this long. It's going gonna, it's gonna to let up. There it is, right there. <laughs> so, uh, what I wanted to finish up by saying is that, um, yes, water seeks its level. That's the, that's the big deal. I'm hashtagging it, hashtagging a lot of my videos, titling them Water Seeks Level. Uh, because it does. It's not just that it seeks its level, it seeks level. So when you're driving by, when you're driving and you see the puddles all around, they're flat and level. It's just what they are. That's the way this world was made. We wouldn't have a perfectly calm, still, undisturbed water if the world was moving, wobbling, gyrating. So for an eternal perspective, hear, share, and obey God's word. Bible.com and Bible.is are effective resources for that. And of course, uh, Eternal Perspective, the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like, and also get the bell, activate the bell that'll let you know when I have uh, a new video out. Thank you so much for all your public and private support.